Over the last year, WCIA has been proud to partner with the Champaign County Farm Bureau Foundation to bring Ag in the Classroom to TVs all across Central Illinois. Ag in the Classroom is a great program that has been coming to schools like right here, Bottenfield Elementary School in Champaign. Today, we're heading inside to the third grade classroom to learn about a cool project Ag in the Classroom has started this year. We're here in the classroom at Bottenfield Elementary School. This is Mr. Ponder's class, and he has had one of these tower gardens here. Sarah, tell me what it's been like to have tower gardens in some of the schools here in Champaign County. Well, it's been great. Um, I'm just piloting the program this year, so I've had two towers in schools. I've had one at Yankee Ridge and one here at Bottenfield. So it's been a great experience. The teachers have been very, very willing to pilot new, this new uh, thing and, and try new plants and use the curriculum with their students and have a lot of fun with it. Many have not ever grown anything of their own or seen that seed become a, a, a food product for them or their families. And so this has been a great experience for most kids to be able to see the seed to food process. And at the end of the year, you did something really fun with the classrooms with these tower guards. Tell me about the party you guys have. Yeah, so I gave the kids, funny, I gave them a choice between a salad party and a smoothie party, and you can guess which one they chose. So we just had a smoothie party and used fresh fruits and vegetables. We snuck some spinach into the smoothies and uh, just had a, a, an enjoyable time wrapping up this year with the Garden Towers. And now, uh, Mr. Ponder and other teachers who have, have used the, the towers can take home the plants that, that need to finish in the ground and they'll transplant those, or students can take them home as well. So it's kind of fun. This is not the end, even though this is the end of the school year. And one of those lucky teachers who has had the garden towers in their classrooms is been a really fun experience for you, Mr. Pond. You're the third grade teacher here at Bottenfield Elementary. What's it meant to have a tower garden that you can use as a learning experience for your students every day? It's, it's been a great experience for the kids. Usually you're watching videos or looking at books. With this, they can actually plant the seeds. They can watch them get watered. They watch them grow. Most kids don't even know what a garden is, so when we first got this, we had to talk about what makes up a garden, what you have to do to take care of a garden and the buy-in from the students getting to do stuff hands-on was amazing. Why do you think it's important for more classrooms to have tower gardens like the one you have? It's a different experience. It's not a travel sport. It's not an electronic that they sit in their room on. It's something they can actually do the work. They can watch it grow. They can watch what it all becomes. And then you can see where it goes in the real world as far as food and grocery stores and different things like that. Now, Mr. Ponder's classroom is one of many that would love to have a tower garden. In this school alone, there's teachers talking about them, and there's schools all across Champaign County. Kirk Biltz is here with me. Kirk, you are the executive director of the Champaign County Farm Bureau Foundation. Kirk, tell me more about what it means to see this project in action. This is a very unique learning tool that these students have, opening their eyes to agriculture and food production and seeing where the food they eat comes from. And we want to get more of these tower gardens in schools. What's the next steps? How can people help? Right here tonight, uh, you can raise your paddle and help us raise $10,000 to put 10 more garden towers in Champaign County Schools. So we would love if you would contribute to this project. We've seen the impacts these tower gardens have had in classrooms in Champaign County, and we know that there are more teachers who want them. We will gladly take your donations and accept them here to support this project. We'll have more on that through the banquet tonight.